More nectar, plenty of pollen. Not much happening on that side. Very light frame, drawn out, pollen. So I'm just contemplating while I'm doing this, what I'm gonna do with that top box. I think I just reverse them. I think that's what they do in the US when they overwinter in two boxes. I think at the start of the season, they flip them. So here's the last of the emerging brood because we know where the queen is. So that's all we really need to know. So this is basically an empty box. So there was brood in both of these boxes. Now that we've put an excluder in, we know the queen's gone upstairs, which it's worked its wonders. Now we rotate these, and they hopefully, gee, they got really fly all of a sudden. They're not singing, they're just in the air. Maybe a little gust, but I didn't notice pollen emerging brood from two weeks ago same deal we'll have a look at this plastic frame if you want to see what I think about plastic frames have a look at that link I really don't like them Radio. So, vented bottom board in this as well, I just noticed, which I like. Oops, a daisy. So, plenty of room in this box, lots of bees. So, they've got two boxes of bees. Emerging brood down the bottom, new brood up the top. I might even put a box on them as well. So we know where our queen is. Gonna put a box on here. Get some frames. Even easier. This is just old drawn out comb that I harvested last year. So we put these guys on top. So that's the yellow hive. You can just see the amount of pollen that's coming in. 
they're doing all right all right guys so we're now going to get into the black hive see how these guys are going pop them a bit of smoke Could be numbers. So their B numbers are okay, but it doesn't look like they're chock a block on this outer frame. Nectar. Actually, tiny little bit of nectar, only two or three cells deep along the bottom there. I'll sit that one out. Wind's picking up a little bit, but you can probably hear that. frame nothing happening on that pollen and brood doesn't look like any eggs in there And no eggs on that frame either. This frame's got a bit more weight in it. Probably because of the honey that's on the outside rim. It's a bit difficult, there's trees behind, so I can't really see inside the cells. Oh yeah, so there are some eggs in amongst here. So our queen's around. Bit of pollen on that bee there. Same thing there. Brew pattern's okay. The nest is certainly building up. Heavy frame again. So honey from last year. Keep an eye out for that queen. A few eggs and larvae around in that as well. So they're probably gonna pop in the next two weeks. I might just put a box on these guys. Another heavy frame. Pollen, eggs, larvae as well. Plenty of pollen coming in, look at that. This has got a lot of honey on it, but possibly some brood. Nope, just pollen, honey. All right, so no queen spotted. I think based on the amount of brood that's in here, I think I'll put a box on them.
there's still got a little bit of room. Weather's warming up. <clears throat> I don't think I'll fit nine frames in here, but I'll have a sus. There's not a lot of room. It's probably all the addition of all these little bits and pieces in between the frames here. A little bit of comb on the end. Oh, gee. I think if I put that frame in there, I'd never get it out. It's absolutely jammed in this corner here, this little piece as it gets wider. So they're going to remain an eight framer. A messy eight framer of that. And I'm going to pop a box on them. Oh, clean excluder. Uh, have I got a clean excluder? Yes, I do. So, let's clean this up a little bit. And what have I got in here? So, frame, saving those. I'm going to put some empty ones in there. eight frames and we'll spread them out a fair bit. Good. Put those guys back to sleep. Happy days. Okay guys, so we're going to get into the silver hive. Let's see how we go. Hopefully that wind's not too bad for you guys. So roof and excluder just came off then. Nice bit of brood. And larvae in there as well. Eggs down around here. Keep an eye out for the queen. Pop that one aside. very very light frame and it looks like it's absolutely full of milk brood looking for the queen and the same on this side so this is the frame I'm going to pinch to put back in the blue hive so I'll shake this off give you a look at what's inside So you can see there it's just all milk brood the whole frame and on the other side it's the same thing so 
So here's the frame out of the blue hive. A little bit of nectar. Nothing much else than that on it. So two weeks until I'm down here next. I think these guys are probably going to take off. Yeah, look at that. So heaps and heaps of fresh brood in there. Milk brood all the way through. Eggs up the top. That's a pretty rockin' brood pattern. So here we've got emerging brood. So the older laid brood through here. We've got the newer laid brood through there. And she's coming through and relaying through here as they're emerging. So she's on the build. Notice that there's no pollen patties in these hives, so that's been a really, really good build up. Oh, look at that. That's a nice frame. No queen. So she's, she's relayed in between all those emerging brood cells as well. So I think these guys need a box. If I spot the queen, I'll do a demoray. If not, I'll just plonk a box on them. There's the last of that fondant. Pollen around the top there. Relayed brood, so a few days old, five or six days old brood in the center. An emerging brood around that ring center of frame. Same deal there. I thought I saw the queen then for a second, just down here. And who's to guess what's on this outside frame? Do we think it's going to be honey or do we think it's going to be brood? What do you think down the bottom? Comment, tell me what you think. Well, look at that, the pollen frame. And on the other side, now I just shook that frame and nectar came out of that other side, so they're bringing in a bit of nectar from somewhere. So I've got a queen excluder ready to go, which was on this hive over winter. Let's just leave them on there because I really couldn't be bothered taking them home. Oh, that, that frame will not slide over. Queen could be on this frame. Cool, all right, let's put a box on. Got a few bees clustered down the bottom here on the side of the box. Just gonna get those guys up. Pop a queen excluder on. And then start building them a box.
Spread those out a little bit. 